Hey guys, this is Dan with Gears and Gadgets. Thanks for tuning in. So this channel, I've done quite a few Tanu covers. Started way back when with the Lund Genesis Elite roll-up. Then it went to the Roland Lock electric Tanu cover. Then I did the Lear HF650M. And then- No and then! On my most recent truck, my 2021 F-150, I bought the back X4S, but that's actually sitting on the workbench here because a, another company reached out to me and asked if I would review their Tano cover. Now, the reason why I said yes to do this video is because they do run ads on the channel. Paragon has been making solid aluminum retractable truck bed covers in America. Also, it does indirectly support the channel and they reached out asking if I would do a video and also the fact that you guys have also asked if I would do a video, I figured, couldn't hurt to take another look at another option out there on the market. So I will link them in the description down below. There is a coupon code GEARS23 for 15% off. Again, I will link that in the description down below as well. I've actually done quite a bit of car wash testing with these Tano covers, and I plan on doing the same with the Paragon cover as well. So let's get the truck in here and we'll see what this Paragon truck bed cover is all about. Sure, we don't put it into the ceiling fan like we did with the running boards. Shoot this box. It is wrapped up very nice. Very clever. It is nice when they do this, include a QR code for an installation video. Interesting, it uses the box link system. They give you the bit for it, which is nice also. This is really nice. They actually etch a little P in there. It's actually laser cut all the way through. And the same thing on the driver's side, so you know which side goes where. Perfectly weighted. It's lightweight, easy to move, but feels substantial enough to be a good cover. That is a difficult balancing act of having it be robust, but not having it weigh 500 pounds. Part of what I like about this cover is that theoretically it's easy to remove, which gives you access to more of the bed. And when you have a five and a half foot bed, uh, being able to take this off and access the whole bed is a good thing. Pretty, uh, pretty slick design how they got this set up. A lot of thought went into this for sure. So they tell you to wrap up cover so that you're not losing control of it. And then you got a pin here that'll go in over here.
So I need to jump in here because this test, it ain't gonna go well. But before we show you that, I do wanna kinda talk about some of the rankings that people use to at least comment in the comment section down below about how Tino covers should perform. And I see a lot of people who will just say like, that thing isn't waterproof. And I think part of that is because it's the first time you're seeing somebody with a 360 camera in a car wash where it's being hammered with pressurized water sprayed in at the tailgate in real time. I'm showing you that, but I do see comments and some people I swear are viewing Tanu covers in the lens of just how waterproof it is. So you can see in the course of this channel, I've done the uh, Roland Lock E-Series, very waterproof. The X4S, the Lear HF650M was okay. This limited HDX, not so great in terms of waterproof. The Genesis Elite, which is the fabric cover, was worse, of course, than that. Or I will see people who will say, oh, that thing is just way too expensive. But none of these metrics live within you know, a vacuum. It all depends on how you're viewing what's important to you. And if price is the only thing you look at when you buy a Tino cover, then God bless you. But personally, I look at more of performance, utility, economics, and security. And a lot of people will buy something strictly based on performance because economics, they don't care how much it costs, they want the best. Or somebody might look at it and say, I don't care how well it performs in terms of like water or how cheap it is. I only care about how much utility I can get out of it. What is the most utility Tanu cover that's out there. So let's get back to the car wash and I will show you guys how this Paragon performed to that water. It's pretty interesting. So you can see it let water in from quite a few places. Now I'm not too concerned when I see stuff like this coming in at the end of the tailgate and Paragon did actually send out a tailgate seal, which I did not install. You can see the tailgate seal kit. I did not install that after I saw the results of this. Just to me, it doesn't matter even if you get to the point where you tighten up the tailgate a little bit, there's still quite a bit of water that's getting in at these seams here. So we'll open this up and I'll show you where that water is uh, is coming in. This is actually something I'm not a huge fan of either, but this is just on any non-electric hard rolling cover. This is a pretty common type scenario. It's kind of just a long lead that um, I just, not really my thing, but that's more preferential. So let's open this up. Where that is leaking, you can see some light coming through here. And what this is, is it is a piece of weather seal. So it's a gasket here that when it closes, and actually this one you can see, it just is, you know, it kind of closes up on itself. So it makes sense that under some very, very high pressure water that you'll see that come through in those areas. That is just a part of what you're gonna have with that type of construction. I think it serves the purpose that it needs to for the majority of people. And it also doesn't hurt that it looks very, very nice on this truck. Matter of fact, I really like 
the look of it, it looks uh, it looks tough in my opinion. So again, it makes sense to me why you would see you know water coming in there. But what I love about this cover, the utility that you get out of this thing is awesome. So if I just roll it up here, you see it kind of crashes up to the front, but it does have some rubber bumpers on there. Those rubber bumpers keep it from you know smashing into itself. The engineering of this is incredible. So when you compare this to other covers that I've had, all of these covers have a problem. And that problem is, is that when they are opened, how good or how much bed does it take up to keep it stored here? So this one takes up, you know, maybe eight inches of, of bed space here. But what's really trick about this Paragon, and I love how they have engineered this thing. So with the release of a little catch latch over on the passenger side, I can actually remove this entire cover and get it out of my way. So now you can just take the cover out itself, super lightweight, and just set it off to the side. There you have it. And now I have access to virtually the entire bed. Throw it back in. There we go. Needs to be where as you're pulling it through. That clip just broke. So I'll just tie this back on here. That's not a very uh, good clip. It just broke, so I had to uh, tie this back on the cover. Not too thrilled about that, but not a deal breaker. Probably would get rid of this thing. I don't think I would even use it to begin with because I don't like it kind of dangling here and it's not too hard to This is probably how I would operate it. Pull it like this anyways, just to get rid of this little strap, because I'm just not a big fan of that. I would never use this. I know as I was loading stuff in here from Costco the other day, just even like a big bag of dog food, catch this and kind of throw it on top of it. It's just, it's in the way. So all in installation on this cover took about four and a half hours. It's a pretty robust unit. I think it's worth every penny that they charge for it. And I'm happy that they sent it out to me. So with that being said, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in, please hit that subscribe button down below. Remember, likes go a long way to support the channel. See you guys next time.